Hi, Laura Burgels here, and I'm here at YouTube because I want to show you how to download a YouTube video to your hard drive so that you can embed it in your PowerPoint presentation without being connected to the internet. Here's how you do it. I'm at Firefox, or I'm in Firefox, and as you can see, I'm at YouTube, but I have something special installed with Firefox. It's a Firefox add-in called Video Downloader. Uh, the easiest way to go find it, because as you can see, the URL for it is kind of a doozy. Go to Google, type in Video Downloader, hit the uh, you know the search button, and it'll show you right where to go, and it'll take you right to this place. Really simple to install. Follow the instructions as you scroll down the page. It'll say Install Now. Hit the button, and in a couple of minutes, voila, you're installed. And when you're installed, what you get is down here at the bottom, it says addonsmozilla.org. You'll see this little icon right here. And as I hover over it, I can click it, and uh, it'll download the video. So you'll go back to YouTube and say, hmm, here's the video I want to download. Next, I'm going to click on this little icon right down here called Video Downloader. And what I get is a pop-up box. You can see it right here. It's called Video Downloader, and it says Download Link. Well, that's what we want to do. We're going to left-click on it, and it says, Warning, you must change the file extension to FLV. So that's what we're going to do. I'm left-clicking on the link. I get a pop-up box. It's a pop-up box that says, Do you want to save it to the disk? I'm going to say OK. It's called Get Video, which isn't really descriptive, so I'm going to call it Chimp. And I'm also going to do what it says and save it as a .flv extension and then I'm going to hit the Save button. So what it's doing is it's now transferring it down to my desktop, and it's already done that. I'm going to clean that up, and I'm going to close that, and I'll close my video downloader. And for my next step is I need one more piece of free software, which I am using a piece of free software called Super. And you can get it. I'll show you the URL up here. It's at eWriteSoft.com slash s6kg1.html. That's a doozy of a password, but it's called eWriteSoft. The product's name is Super. It's free download. To get it, you have to go all the way down to the bottom, and there's four different mirror sites that you can click on, download it, and install the program. It takes a couple of minutes to do. Not really tough. Once you have Super uh, downloaded and installed on your computer, you're going to use it to transfer your FLV file that you just downloaded from YouTube into a file that PowerPoint can read. So here we are in Super. This is what it looks like. And let's check our settings. We have a lot of different settings to choose from. For the purposes of this video, let's pick MPEG-1. And we'll check here to make sure that this is also MPEG-1. This can be MP2. We're going to make sure that this is FFmpeg. This we're going to leave absolutely unchecked. Uh, no changes here. I'm not going to mess with the aspect ratio. I'm going to bump this up to 30. Um, I can keep all the audio settings the same, except I think for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to disable the audio so that I'm not talking over it. Um, I need to scooch on down to show you the full range of everything that we can do here. I have the chimp FLV file that I saved on my desktop. What I need to do is drag it over here, which I'm doing, and it goes right in there. There it is, chimp FLV. The next thing I'm going to do is press the encode button. And when I do that, it's kind of like baking a cake. This might take a couple of minutes, so I might turn off the camera on you. Um, but it'll say, hey, now encoding file. And you'll see this uh, start to light up go green, and when it's done, it'll tell me. Well, that didn't take too long. One strange thing that Super does is it always just dumps the new MPEG file that it's just created into the C drive. So what I've gone off and done is I've taken the uh, file that's in my C drive and I've plunked it on my desktop so that we can go to the next step. All that remains now is to insert our video into PowerPoint 2007. Well, we're inserting, so we're going to go to the ribbon bar and click on Insert, and we're inserting a movie or a media clip. So if we scooch over here, we see media clip. We're going to click on that, and we're going to see movie. Got to click on that, and there's our chimp FLV. Now, I'm going to click on that and then click OK, and I'm 
going to get yet another pop-up box. You can see that it already popped in there. And it says, hmm, how do you want the movie to start in the slideshow? Do you want it to start automatically or when clicked? Well, because I'm a control freak, I want it to start when clicked. I don't want it to automatically start playing as soon as we hit the slide. So I'm going to click on when clicked. Also, when I'm in here, I can also start resizing it, making it larger or smaller as I wish. Put it in the center. So really, that's all you need to do to A, download a video from YouTube, B, convert it to an MPEG format that PowerPoint 2007 can read, C, insert it into your PowerPoint, and, you know, D, press F5 and start playing your video within PowerPoint without an internet connection. This is Laura Bergels. Thank you for listening.